Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of locating and comparing numbers on a number line. This is standard 6.2c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 19 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video or work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we need to label this number line here, it runs from 48 to 49, and we need to find which of these numbers, A, B, C, or D, is going to be closest to 49 right here. So that's our goal. We need to put all these on there, and we need to figure out which one is closest. Well, this number line seems to be blank. It runs from 48 to 49 with a whole bunch of lines in between. Uh, so let's just count. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right, so 9 lines means 10 divisions, and that means we're dealing with decimals. So let's just go ahead and put our decimals up here. So this is just going to go to the tenth place, but 48.1, 48.2. I'm just going to alternate them just because my green pen here is kind of big. 48.4. 48.5. So this is going to help me because I'm going to put these decimals on here and I'm going to know where things are going to go. Well, at least the decimals. Some of these, as you can see, are mixed numbers. We're going to have to turn those into decimals as well. I guess if I really wanted to, I could have uh, done these as fractions, like mixed numbers, 48 and 9 tenths, uh, 9 over 10. But to me, decimals typically make just a little bit more sense. All right, so we've got, look, we've got this one right here, 48.4. And then 48.09. We can go ahead and put those straight on. So this 48.4 is easy. So look, I've got 48.4 right there. And I'm going to put a box around it to let you know that that's exactly where that goes. That is not very near 49. So that's probably not going to be it. Now 48.09. Now that's a little bit tricky because there is that goes to the hundredths place. Now here's what we need to think. So this 48.1. See that 48.1 that's sitting right after the 48? You can always put a zero after it. 48.1 or 48 and 1 tenth is the same as 48.10 or 48 and 10 hundredths. These are the same. So if I get that 48.10, now this 48.09 is going to be really easy to find. It's going to come right in front of that right there. So I'm going to put a 48.09. So 9 hundredths comes right before 10 hundredths. And 10 hundredths is the same as, as you can see right here, as 1 tenth. So I'm going to put a box right here. That is most likely not going to be the answer, because at least 48.4 is bigger than that. So really, we're stuck with our, here's our big problem right here. 48 and a half, 48 and 3 fifths. So let's just deal with the fractions because we know it's going to be 48 and something, right? So I'm going to leave that 48 there. Let's deal with this half. Well, in sixth grade, we should know a half as a benchmark fraction. But if for some reason we don't, if you don't know what that half is as a benchmark fraction, if you don't know how to turn that into a decimal or percent, as a fraction, you can always divide up. So we're just going to take this half, and we're going to divide up. That means you take your denominator, divide it into your numerator. 2 goes into 1 0 times, because it's less than 1. So we need to put a decimal, and then we can put a 0 down here. Now we can go 2 goes into 10, because you can always put a one a 0 after the decimal, and that's going to be 5. And there we go. That's going to be even. So this is 1. If you don't have it memorized, is one of your benchmark fractions. 1 half equals 0 0.5. Now we're going to not call it 0 0.5, because remember, we've got this 48 sitting there. So we're going to call it 48.5. And look, it's right there. So all we need is that 48 and 3 fifths. So let's do the same thing, 48 and 3 fifths. Let's divide up. 5 goes into 3 0 times. Let's put a 0 there. 5 goes into 30 ooh, 6 times. And that's going to be even. So 48 and 3 fifths is the same as 48 and 0.6, or 6 tenths. And I've got that right here, 48. 0.6, 48 and 6 tenths. So it looks like that is the one that is closest to 49. Remember, that's our goal, closest to 49. So we're going to say 48 and 3 fifths. Our answer is D.